guys hey. welcome back to another tangled up in our week so tyler is crying because we've just pulled up at uh, my mum and dad's because it's my nephew's christening today and we're godparents hence why we're we've made we've made it <laughs> so i'm having a show <laughs> um so we're just about to head in now the service is at half nine so we just arrived very early we've been up since like six o'clock haven't we yeah. so where uh, should we head in mm. let's go so um we're back from the christening it went really really well so um we've got our lasagna in the oven mum's made a shepherd's pie this looks amazing and uh, this is anthony's vegetarian mushroom and cauliflower bake we've got some garlic bread there's not there's not a piece missing now i promise you <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna tuck in. So it is Wednesday morning, very early. And mm -hmm. um, I'm just dropping Ant off at the station because you're off to London today with work. I am there for a couple of days. Oh, I hate it. I literally <laughs> hate. I, honestly, like I just you know you could because we don't we're not really separate like very often. So like when it does happen, it's just horrible. I hate it. <laughs> um, but we do have Ant's mum staying with us again this week, so at least I'm not on my own. And I've got I've got. I've got Tyler as well yeah. to keep me company. But and actually, to be fair, I've got rehearsal tonight till late anyway. True. So, um, yeah, I just don't like sleeping. Like, I don't feel like I sleep very well when you're not when you're not there. But um, so yeah, so I'm off to work too. And um, we're both not feeling great. Like, not moaning about it, but we're just <laughs> we're, we're just trying to kind of plod on and hope that it doesn't like completely like yeah. take hold. But you're you're worse than me really at the minute, aren't you? But yeah, which is kind of why the the weekly vlog last week was so late because i just didn't edit over the weekend because it just wasn't well yeah um which is why it went out on monday yeah um but yeah yeah we're all right we're, we're plodding on i think <laughs> to be honest with you i think because we've been so so busy um i think we're probably a little bit run down and stuff too we did try and have a little bit of a like a relax like we slept a little bit on saturday and stuff mm. and um i think that has given us a little bit of a boost i'm a bit worried about completely stopping because i feel like yeah, i'm gonna be it, really it, ill yeah. um and i've still got like literally this sunday is the big is, is the start for me of like tech of like panto opening okay. so um i need to just i need to just get panto open and then if i'm ill if i'm ill i'm ill that's there's nothing really can do about it but the christmas won't ill christmas day was like we're not getting, we're not getting up we're just gonna have a day in bed yeah but um but yeah so okay well you can't get your train oh i hate it i don't want you to go <laughs> i mean i'll try and film some of the oh, my journey okay. and stuff if, if i can yeah maybe just like a little highlights type yeah. of real and thing. like anything you see like maybe christmasy in london or whatever mm, yeah. maybe get to do any shopping if you happen to go, yeah. go past the m&m store perhaps or you know maybe uh, you could pop in there and uh bring me a more, gift more <laughs> I'm only joking, you don't think I'm anything. <laughs> okay. Oh, we'll see you guys later. Well, I've just got to work. Um I had a bit of a cry as I left Anthony before. Um I just hate it. I just think because we're so like we're very close and we don't tend to spend that much time apart. Um obviously when we do have to spend time apart, I find it really hard. Um but it's only for a night. I need to just get a grip and pull myself together. <laughs> So I was thinking on the way in, I was um, I messaged our lovely friend Anna this morning and we've been chatting and um, she was saying that um, she had her first white peppermint um, like Starbucks drink of the year and I thought wow that sounded absolutely amazing and I'm like I would love to try that but then and obviously I was kind of like telling her um because she's in America and um, I was kind of telling her the drinks that we have here in our Starbucks and I was thinking like what's your favorite guys because like you know because obviously like we've vlogged it and stuff but i love an eggnog latte i do love the gingerbread latte but that's anthony's favorite um but then costa do a really really nice black forest hot chocolate which i absolutely love as well um unfortunately i haven't really got a costa like close certainly not close at work um is the one near oh yeah i suppose we do have one that's kind of relatively close to us near home but um i always feel like it's like a bit of a treat that getting one of those but um but yeah so let us know in the comments like what your favorite christmas drink is or whether you're just not fussed by them at all um but yeah so i'm gonna go and speaking of which i'm gonna go and grab a coffee um because that's my morning ritual go and grab a coffee and then head into work and uh get this day started Checked in, 
Um, I'm in a premiere in the hub in Good Street. All meetings are done for today. It feels, it does feel a bit weird to be here by myself, actually. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what to do with myself. Um, although saying that, because I'm here with work colleagues, we are going to go and watch a show tonight. We're actually going to watch Moulin Rouge. So I've got about half an hour in the room because um, we just literally just checked in. Um, and then we're just going to meet downstairs, go for some dinner, and then go and watch the show. I feel really bad because <laughs> I know I know Gem really loves Moulin Rouge. And the fact that I'm going to watch it without her <laughs> makes me feel really bad. But I'm sure we'll see it again together um, someday. We've probably shown a, a hub before, but I'll take you around very quickly. Um, the, the, the quite small room, so it doesn't take long at all. It's literally like the very basics that you need. Um, so yeah, I'll quickly do a tour um, just before I head out. So anyone that stayed in a Premier Inn hub before knows that um, the duvet comes already wrapped up and stuff. You have to you have to put it out yourself. This is actually a um, a bigger room normally. Um, in the standard room, the the bed would go straight along and it would take up all that space and you wouldn't be able to walk up the sides of the bed um but yeah we've got a bigger room uh, this time they always have this map in the hubs actually which i always find really fascinating that shows all the different areas um of london um there's no window even though there's a blind there there is there's a physical window but there's actually no view which you tend to get that in in hubs as well um tv wise standard tv Remote is just there. A few USBs and plugs and stuff, and just basic drawers. Um, I have actually brought my work laptop to do some work here in the morning, and I guess I'll just have to pull that chair over. Um, Wardrobe-wise, you just get this little space to hang stuff. I mean, I'm literally staying here for one night, so I'm not hanging anything. I've literally just put my clothes in this drawer here. Um, and you get your little hair dryer. Got me my coat hung up there. And then uh, bathroom wise, as you would expect, just very standard Premier Inn hub um, with shower. Oh, actually, it's a dual shower. Um, yeah, and then like, the bin. The bin's in there. That's pretty much. That's pretty much the room. They do have a floor length mirror here. Um, but yeah, that's it. One thing we do like actually about, and I would say we, <laughs> so you, we're so used to, I'm so used to the same we. Uh, one thing I do like about um, the Premier Inn hubs is that you can control everything from the bed. So the, the air conditioning can be on and off here. Obviously the, the lights on and off. Um, oh. <laughs> um, you can put your do not disturb on your room or you tell, tell them not to make the room up. You can just put a little reading light on. Yeah, they do just have standard plugs there, which I'm surprised at actually. I thought there would have been a USB. I have actually forgotten to bring my plug adapter. I've only brought the wires, so I won't be able to I won't be able to plug anything at the side of my bed, which will be interesting. Um alarm clockwise tomorrow. I'll just have to leave it plugged in here. Um or here. Um but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. So I've probably got about five, ten more minutes and then I'll just head and meet my colleagues and we'll just head over to the theatre. I've finished work, I've had some dinner and I've just arrived at rehearsal for the evening. Um, I've spoken to Anthony, he's all good as well. He arrived in London fine. Um, so uh, so yeah, it's all really, really good. I've just been listening actually to the, um, to the Wicked Film soundtrack, which I really, really love. I didn't think that I'd be able to listen to it because I love the Broadway uh, recording so much, but um, I love the little changes that have been made. And I was chatting to Anne and I think we're gonna go and see it again. <laughs> because we loved it so so much um so let us know in the comments have, have you seen it yet don't put any spoilers though um but um, honestly we just love it and i love that everybody's talking about it i think because like obviously we're into theater we've seen wicked quite a few times i'm really happy that i feel like it's reached like non-theater kids and non-theater people too like i feel like it's like because it's been pushed out so much and obviously all the marketing and everything that's kind of gone into it i'm really happy that it's being received really really well by like i've not heard a bad review about it so that's really good um so yeah i'm excited to go and watch it again i don't think it'll be this weekend but hopefully soon so um i'm gonna go and open up because i've got the keys today and uh yeah and then we'll uh, get rehearsal started <laughs> 
So it's the next day, really, really enjoyed the show. I did buy a couple of bits of merchandise for Jem and a little thing for myself as well. So I've already had breakfast today, got a couple of more work meetings before we get the train home. And then that'll be my time in London done. So the breakfast here was actually quite good. It was only six pounds and it's just like a, I know you can eat, but it's like only like continental stuff. So it's like the croissants and uh, pastries and toast and yogurt and stuff. I'm just packing my stuff now. We have to check out by 12. Um, so we'll, we'll let you go in soon. Um, we're going to have a quick look around London. We don't have a meeting until two, so we've got a couple of hours uh, to spend. So I don't know what we're going to do. I think we'll just have a, maybe do some Christmas shopping or just have a look at the Christmassiness of, of London. Who knows? Um, but I'll, I'll actually I'll show you what I bought from the show last night. I got uh, a pin badge. Uh, I got Gem a new notebook because I know she loves a notebook. And also this Christmas bauble. And they only had two left. So uh, me and my colleague got the last two. So I don't know if they're going to restock or if literally that, that's it now. But yeah, that's what we got. finished work and I've done some Christmas shopping um, and picked up a few bits and headed home to see Tala and now I am off to pick up Anthony from the train station in Manchester so 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 excited to see him I know it's only been 24 hours but honestly we're just so not used to spending time away from each other so when we do it just feels like the longest time so um, yeah I'm gonna hop in the car and go and get him so I am here it didn't take me long to get here at all the roads are really really quiet tonight which is great and um, so Anthony's trained a little bit late but that's fine and um, so yeah so I thought this would be a really really great opportunity actually to just kind of pop on um, and say happy thanks giving to all our American friends in particular to Shelley and also to um Anna and her family as well um we hope you're having a fantastic day enjoying time with your families and eating lots of yummy food um and we're thinking of you guys hope you have a fantastic day I am so so looking forward to Christmas um just like spending time again like time spending time with family and just and just relaxing a little bit because I feel like since we've been back from Japan me and Anne have both been like super duper busy with work and like obviously what I'm doing a show and everything it's just we've literally not stopped and we've barely seen each other properly so I'm really looking forward to like going and getting our Christmas tree and just like just doing nice things um over the next month which is going to be great so so yeah so we should be here any um, about four minutes so um let's see if we can uh we can see him coming I can see Anthony he can't see me though where's he gone there he is <laughs> just trying to cross the road oh, he's got an m&m's bag yes <laughs> yay hello are you 
okay? Yeah. Aww. <sighs> Is that a long journey back? Yeah. Aww. <laughs> it was fine. It Good. Was fine. Glad to be home. Yeah, well, we're not, well, not, we're not, not home, home yet. Yeah, I've got another half an hour yet. Yeah, Aww, I missed you. Missed you. <laughs> right, I'm gonna, gonna stop filming so I can give you a hug. So it's Friday evening and we're home. We're both home. <laughs> you've been home for... Have you, you've been working from home today? Yeah, I've been yeah. home all day. <laughs> so I've been to rehearsal. It's been a busy week this week, hasn't it? Yeah, well, because I've not been here for two days as well, and you've been rehearsing pretty much every, <laughs> every other day, so... Yeah, but the panto opens next week, mm -hmm. so I've probably got quite... Okay. Although, I have got a few busy days, actually, but I'm off for a couple of days as well, like in the day, so I'm just going to be, like, at the yeah. theatre in the evening, so that'll be nice to have a little bit of time Free to myself, time. and... What did you say? Free time. Free time, yeah. I thought you said tree time. Tree time. <laughs> time oh, to yeah. put the tree up. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we get out... We... We'll see next week's vlog, but we're getting our tree on Sunday. Sunday morning, yeah. And then you're going straight to rehearsal. Yes. So I don't know if we're just going to have a bare tree for well, a day or... I was thinking about it this morning. I don't know whether we'll just do it Sunday night. Because it's not... I think I'm rehearsing until half six. Oh, okay. So we'll have a few hours in the evening. So we could maybe just do what we normally do and just do the tree. Mm. And then... Um, do everything else. Yeah, and then I can do the other stuff on Monday because okay. I'm off, so... Yeah, but I'm excited to go and get the Christmas tree. Mm, nice. I can't wait. Yeah, <laughs> I bought the garland today. It's in the hall. <laughs> I, I didn't bring it. No, I didn't bring it in because right. um, pine needles will be all over the floor. Oh. So I just left it in the porch area. But um, I'll be putting that up as well. <laughs> I just need to get the lights down. So I'm excited. I'm really, really looking forward to Christmas. I feel like once Panto's up and running, I can relax a bit. Yeah. And we can go and do some nice things. Um, we've got some shows, hopefully, to go and see. Um, as well, like we're going to go and watch Panto and... Going to go to the Christmas market with our friends. Yes, we are. I'm very excited weeks. about that. Yeah, there's loads of little <clears> things <throat> that we've got kind of booked in. So I'm hoping over the next few weeks it's going to be really like, nice and festive and yeah. <laughs> so you what I had to have my lunch today. Did you see? I did see. <laughs> so um, the, the, there's a place near where I work that does a little... Um, well, originally what caught my eye was that they do little pots. They're called turkey tubs. And it's just like a couple of pieces of turkey, um, a sprout, a, a couple of roast potatoes with gravy and, um, what do you call them? Pigs in blankets. Mm. Um, so us in the office, we were all like, we're going to, we're because it's payday today, so we're like, we're going to treat ourselves and get one of those. Anyway, when I actually looked, I delved into the menu, they also did Yorkshire pudding wraps. It was really good. Yeah, mm. really, really good. And they were homemade Yorkshire puddings as well. Oh, okay. They were really, it was really nice. We all had one. It was lovely. So, um, so yeah, so it's been a, I feel like it's been quite a festive, festive day today. So we're going to head to bed. We're going to close the vlog off now. Normally we would do it tomorrow, but we're out early tomorrow. Mm. So um, we're going to end the vlog now. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of you who are also watching our um japan vlogs and mm. um, we love reading your comments replying to your comments on that and it's so nice to just watch it back <laughs> i love watching the vlog when you've edited it i love watching it back to kind yeah. of see what we did it's also it's like you forget and when you're editing you're like oh gosh i totally we did forgot that. we did this yeah. <laughs> so it's nice for us like and obviously like you guys are enjoying them which is really really great too so thank you so much for watching as always and we'll see you all next week bye guys Bye. <laughs>